At the World Health Organization meeting being held in Islamabad, Pakistan, many important topics are being discussed. Foremost amongst them is universal health coverage, how each and every person can receive health coverage. We have with us Dr. Zafar Mirza, Health Systems Development Director. Welcome to the program. We hear a lot about universal health coverage. How does WHO look at that? Okay. Uh, WHO, when it was established in 1948, at the, at the very outset, we decided that when we talk about health, health is a fundamental human right. So all what we do, the human right basis of our operations remain intact. Okay. So how we realize this right? In order to realize this right, what is very important is that everybody must have the basic health coverage. And today we call it universal health coverage. But there are many challenges for that, Dr. Mirza, in poor countries especially. How can countries afford to do that? Yeah. So the question is that is it possible to provide health coverage to everybody? And the answer is absolute yes. And actually many uh, member states have shown that they are able to provide coverage to all their citizens if they decide so. So the first and foremost thing is that we develop a vision that every citizen must have access to basic health services in the country and especially the poor ones when they access services they should not go through financial hardship and that is the basis of universal health coverage. Dr. Mirza, so far we find that many of the poor countries especially are paying out-of-pocket expenses. We heard a lot about private-public partnerships. How can that happen? How can we engage the public sector? The out-of-pocket expenditures for health is a major issue and governments have responsibility, especially towards the poor and the vulnerable populations, that government provide them some kind of protection, whether it is insurance or other mechanisms, so that when they access services, they don't go through financial hardship. Now, if we have to provide health coverage to whole population, it is absolutely not possible that the government alone can do it. So for that, we have to actually effectively engage private health sector so that in partnership with them, we can broaden the coverage of the whole population for basic health care. Doesn't this mean that the public sector will have to give up some of their authority to the private sector? Do they feel vulnerable? I mean, do they, are they engaging sufficiently? Okay. This, this, is an important, this is an important point you make, and actually the answer is no. When we talk, we are not just talking about a, a, a contracting them, we are talking about engaging them, developing partnerships, setting standards for them, and purchasing services from, from a private sector in order to provide okay. to people. So it's a win-win situation. It's an absolute win-win situation, and both sides win, and most importantly, people win. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Mirza. Now we find that there is hope for the poor as well. With WHO behind universal health coverage, everybody will be able to get health services.